My name is Joni Banks Hunt, and I am an electrical engineer. My name is Kate Harper. My name is Susan Sewer. Deborah Double Boone. My name is Suzanne Hardy. I did a lot of package engineering and pharmaceuticals. My background is a mechanical engineer. My name is Cherie Gibson. I'm a great believer in an engineering education. The reason I'm here is I like to give back. I've spent some time trying to support other women going into technical careers, and I certainly spent a lot of my career mentoring other women. Interacting with them is very inspiring to hear their suggestions, their stories, their just how they, you know, came to where they were. They were like the first female engineers like at their college. They had the same amount of pressure on them as we did, except more, and they still rose above it and really pushed through and now they're super successful and telling their stories to people who are just like them when they were young. What about when people have expectations on you? It's still harder for girls and boys because, you know, you got the stereotypes that we need to be coddled and we need to stick to like one field, but you need to work more to break the stereotypes and show everyone what you can really do. So let's just try it with just the tennis ball. Traditionally, engineers were men and they designed for themselves, quite honestly. Um, and that's why we have things that aren't very well designed for women in a lot of cases. <laughs> we need all kinds of people who are doing engineering and science and technology and mathematics. Diversity makes us smarter, it makes us stronger, it gives us different perspectives, it gives us options. We have to stop doubting ourselves. We have to have the confidence that we are prepared to do the job. We have to believe in ourselves. You can do this. I think it's so tough, especially when you're someone who likes to do a good job, to find that there's something you're trying for the first time and it's not coming easy. No! <laughs> I never wanted to fail. I was like, that's how I was raised. But that failure is part of learning. Let's try this. You learn as much, if not more, from mistakes than you do from successes. Sometimes that mistake will tell you exactly where you need to be going. <laughs> it's a lot of thinking of an idea, and the only way to know if it works is putting it to test, and if it works, it works. The they funnel. fixed that, they fixed that. They it fixed wasn't that big enough. Yeah. You gotta stick yourself out there far enough to be wrong some of the time, or you're not pushing yourself far enough. Failure is just learning, and it's integral to the creation of better things and new things. Yeah! Yeah! Okay, okay, we're good. Uh, it work? Yeah. <laughs> Engineers are more creative than we give them credit for. Yes, we have a lot of technology to do a lot of things for us, but who are the people who invent that technology? It's us. And the more I got involved in being the us, the more I felt that I was really making a contribution, just being a part of the future. I'm living a happy life. I'm living a good life. It's, it was the best decision I ever made for my life, it was to study mechanical engineering, get that degree. It's led me to amazing places in life. I'm so grateful for it. I never got bored, and I, actually, I, I had a blast. I really, it was a really fun career.